Hi everyone, Nadine Briggs here from Simply Social Kids. Sometimes a bonk is just a bonk. It's in our program if they get hurt in any way. Let's say they bonk their head or maybe they bump into somebody or they trip or they fall down or get hurt in some way. Their first instinct is to look for a scapegoat. They're like looking around the room, but who did that? Who did that to me? Whose fault is it? Who do I blame? Who can I get angry at? And it's really not a great thing because they'll just look for the nearest kid and then they'll say, it's got to be you. You're the closest one to me. You must have caused this to happen to me. And that's not necessarily the case. So when that moment happens, they have a lot of things going on. First of all, they're feeling some pain. If they have some sensory challenges, that pain could feel a little stronger than somebody who doesn't have sensory challenges, or they just don't like to have things unexpected happen to them. So it's a lot of different things that are going on. A lot of emotions come on really quick for them. So what we want to do is to teach them to just freeze your brain, freeze, just stop and think about what's going on right here and explain to them after they calm down, if they're super upset, don't do it then. You have to wait until they calm down that sometimes a bonk is just a bonk. It's not necessarily that somebody did something to you. There's not necessarily someone to blame. Things just happen. Injuries just happen. Bonks just happen. And they're not necessarily the fault of another even if they are actually the fault of another. Maybe somebody did something to cause the bonk or led to the bonk in some way. In that instance, we want them to understand that those things happen. It's not necessarily a nefarious plan to hurt you or some kind of deliberate act to cause you harm. What it is, it's an accident that happens. And what kids do is they get very, very harsh in terms of their reactions to other people who make mistakes, but then they'll turn around five minutes later and maybe they'll make a mistake or maybe they cause a bonk on someone else and they, they are not able to really realize that you want that person to forgive you when you just caused a bonk, but you weren't able to forgive the other person that just did it to you who caused a bonk. So we need to make sure that they freeze their brains and really stop and think about what's going on here? Is it just an accident? And just take it as such. This takes practice. The kids in our program, it definitely takes practice. We need to freeze their brains, let them calm down, slowly walk through the scenario of what happened and let them know that either it wasn't someone's fault or even if it was someone's fault, you can certainly ask for an apology. And hopefully the other person, if they did cause it, would give that apology. But even if not, be able to get over that and overcome that relatively quickly. We can't have that ruin our day and we can't have that be something that they relive and think about for weeks and weeks on end. So some kids will do that. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos on how to help children, teens, and young adults be more social. I'd love to hear a comment if you'd like to leave a comment below and check out our program. We have a social skills program online globally and in person in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. All you have to do is a quick, short intake on the phone with me just to see if it's a good fit for you. And then we do a free trial. And if it's your thing, that's great.